Hello listeners, this video discusses the poem Bless God He Went as a Soldier written by Emily Dickinson. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson was born in the year 1830 and died in the year 1888. She was an American poet. Little is known about her life. She is regarded as the most important figures in American poetry. During her lifetime, she only published 10 of her poems, but she had almost written 1,800 poems and one letter. None of her poems are titled, but the first line of the poem is considered as the poem's title. Emily's father, Samuel Dickinson, was one of the founders of Amherst College. Amherst College is a private liberal arts college in Massachusetts. Dickinson was introduced to William Wordsworth and Ralph Waldo Emerson. During her lifetime, Emily had a pretend influence of William Shakespeare's works and Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Dickinson's works was published after her death, that is after four years after her death. It was published by Thomas H. Johnson, published as Complete Poems in 1955. In the contemporary times, Dickinson poems appeared in Samuel Bowles, Springfield Republican, between 1858 and 1868. It is said that Dickinson's first poem, Nobody Knows This Little Rose, may have been published without Dickinson's permission. After Emily's death, Lavinia Dickinson, who is the younger sister of Emily Dickinson, kept her promise and burnt most of Emily Dickinson's poems. Because before the death of Dickinson, she took a promise with her sister to burn all her poems. Emily's biographer is Alfred Haberger, who wrote, My wars are laid away in books, the life of Emily Dickinson in the year 2001. Dickinson's poetry can be separated into three parts pre-1861, which was a period before 1858. In that period, Emily has written many conventional and sentimental poems. Next part is 1861 to 65. This period was popularly known as creative period. Thomas H. Johnson, who was her publisher of her poems, estimated that she composed 35 poems in 1860, 86 poems in 1861, 366 poems in 1862, 141 poems in 1863, and 174 poems in 1864. In this period, Dickinson touched on the themes of nature, life, and mortality. In the next part, during the post-1866 period. This period where Dickinson's poems were written in the last 20 years of her life. Let us see a small outline about the poem, Bless God, He Went as Soldiers. This poem is a small poem which only has two paragraphs. Each paragraph carries four lines. When we look the background of Emily Dickinson's influence on writing, it was Benjamin Franklin Newton who introduced poetry to Dickinson. It was Franklin Newton who introduced Ralph Waldo Emerson's first book of collection poems to her. He also presented it as gift to Dickinson. When we read this poem, many interpreters say that this poem, Bless God He Went as Soldiers, is the reference made by Dickinson of Franklin Newton, but some say it is just a reference to an unknown soldier. When Dickinson wrote this poem, civil war was just around the corner. Let us see this poem. Bless God, he went as soldiers, his musket on his breast. Grant God, he charged the bravest of all the martyrs blessed. Please God, might I behold him in a powlettered white. I should not fear the foe then. I should not fear the fight. When we read this poem, this poem is a proper fantasy where 
we come across a knight who is heavenly with musket rather than sword. We know that any soldier would carry sword in his hands because when he wanted to move to battle, it is an obvious property for any soldier. But in Emily's reference, she says that a soldier carries a musket on his breast. Musket is nothing but a type of long gun that was used by soldiers in the past. In the first line, bless God he went as soldiers, his musket on his breast. So it is understood that the soldier has his musket on his breast. In the third line, grant God he charged the bravest of all the martial beast. Here, Emily thanks God that her knight died with his musket in his arms and also says that he has charged over the bravest and died a mighty death. Next stanza, please God might I behold him in a powlettered white. Here Dickinson wants the soldier to be top warrior among God's army. Emily wishes to see him in a powlettered white. A foul letter is like an ornament that protects the shoulders. It is like a shoulder pad formerly worn as a part of military uniform. In the next lines, I should not fear the foe then, I should not fear the fight. Here Emily affirms that she is not going to fear of enemy or neither she has fear of the fight. We come across that this poem does not mean a literal soldier. Perhaps in this figurative writing, we could take the reference of the critiques, that is Benjamin Franklin Newton, who died of tuberculosis in the year 1854. We could just imagine that it could might be Newton's death that made Dickinson to write this poem. The interpreters and critics say that the reference to musket is Newton's pen. The interpreters say that this poem is a reference made to Benjamin Franklin Newton is because Dickinson has written a letter immediate to Newton's death to Newton's friend not a friend, a pastor, Reverend Hale. She says that Newton had taught him to read and to admire the works of authors. She says that he made him see a faith in things that are unseen and given her a new life in reading. And Emily blesses Newton to have his presence in heaven. Let us see a small analysis of this poem. In the first line of the poem, it starts with bless God. So we could see from the tone of the poem, bless God is an expression of gratitude and appreciation to God for sending soldiers to fight for country. The reference in the poem, he indicates that the poet specifically indicates a male soldier. In the second line, his musket on his breast describes the soldier carrying his weapon close to his heart. This line also refers that the soldier had a great burden of responsibility to defend his country. In the third line, grant God, he charged the bravest. Here Dickinson prays to God asking him to bless the soldier and give him the courage to charge into battle bravely. The phrase the bravest refers the courage that is required for the soldier to face the enemy. The second stanza begins with please God might I behold him. Here the poet's desire to witness the soldier in his emolotted white uniform is described. The first word please shows the respect that the poet has for the soldier. The poet also has an admiration for the soldier's bravery and heroism. And 
amolotered white gives a brief description of the soldier's uniform with great detail. White here represents the purity with association with the noble intentions of the soldiers. In the sixth line, I should not fear the foe then. Here the poet expresses confidence in the soldier's abilities to protect and defend his country. And in the last line, I should not fear the fight refers the battle between good and evil and emphasizes the soldier's role in this battle. The line also signifies the speaker's faith in the soldier's abilities to overcome the enemy. This poem, Bless God, He Went as Soldiers, is a tribute to the brave soldiers who fought for country. Here Dickinson uses language and imagery that creates a patriotic tone and highlights the soldier's bravery. Dickinson also highlights the soldier's selflessness and commitment. Dickinson's use of religious imagery like please God, God represents Dickinson's deep religious faith and her faith in God's protection. The poet also reminds the soldier's sacrifice to protect the country and his important role in defending the nation. Hope this video helps. If you have query, please write it down below. And if you want any topic for discussion, mention it down below. Thank you for listening.